Hello, BJ families and community. I hope you all are doing well. My name is Mackay Dorfman. I am the family educator at BJ, a part of the family life and learning team. And I'm excited to be here with you all. So we're in the second week of Elul, the month leading up to Tishrei, the month leading up to Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur and Sukkot and Simchat Torah, all these high holidays that we call them, high holy days. And it's a time of change, of teshuvah, of returning. And it's a time of reflection, of thinking how we have been this last year and how do we want to be in relationship with ourselves, with our families, with our community, and with God. How do we really want to show up in this world? And this month, it's a time of preparation, of getting ready. You know, we have to prepare ourselves to feel and get ready for the high holy high holy days. So one thing that is traditionally said every morning and evening during the prayer services during Shachrit and Ma'ariv is Psalm 27. It's a liturgical poem attributed to King David. And I wanted to share a little bit about this, uh, this uh, poem and connect it to a little meditation, a meditation of feeling safe, in our bodies and, uh, and really feeling what that's like. So I'm gonna read a little bit and then we'll do a little bit of meditation together. By David, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? It goes on later to say, One thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and worship in God's temple. For God will keep me safe in God's pavilion on the day of trouble. God will hide me under the cover of God's temple. So I want to invite us to feel a sense of safety that we can connect to, especially when we're feeling anxious or when we're feeling the chaos of life, of uncertainty, a way of connecting to our essence, connecting to God and knowing that we have that. We have God that we can always turn to, that we can always rely on. So I invite you to Sit comfortably. And we'll start by taking a couple deep and cleansing breaths together. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. We'll do another one. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. And I invite you to gently close your eyes. Soft eyes or a light, soft gaze. And we're allowing, going to feel our body sitting. And if we feel any tension or tightness in any parts of our body, just allowing that to soften, to dissolve, allowing our bodies to relax. And if there's any thought that is present, just allowing that thought to just come and go. And being aware of our breath and feeling our bodies sitting. I want you to bring to mind a place where you feel safe. This could be a place in your house. This could be under your covers when you, in your bed. This could be in the arms of a loved one. It could be somewhere outside. It could be in your own arms. Let's try that for a second. Let just, why don't you give yourself a big hug and just begin to sink into that feeling of safety. We are safe. So imagining your place that you feel safe. 
and feeling your body at ease, feeling that comfort, feeling that everything is okay. No matter what's happening in the world, no matter what we know or don't know, feeling at ease, feeling at least for these few moments, trusting that we can feel safe and comfortable. And feeling that in our bodies, allowing the breath to come in and out. Just be in God's pavilion, in God's tent, feeling this comfort of being with God, being with ourselves in our safeness. Take a couple more deep breaths. Just feeling this safety. Trusting and having faith that this is exactly how it should be. It's like this. I invite you to open your eyes. And my gift to you is this practice of feeling safety and comfort as we move into a new cycle together. Hug some math. Be well.